We're in Leeds tonight to investigate this historic building, Leeds Library. This is Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. Throw book at me. Jesus Christ. No way, no way, no way. Just feels different down here now. That was down here. I heard a book or something down here. Let me just have a look. Ghost Dimension. So we're on our way to Leeds. Leeds is a historic town full of so much history and also so much paranormal activity. And the location we are heading to today is Leeds Library. Now I can't wait to go over here and investigate because there's so much activity that's reported that appears to be poltergeist. This place goes by years. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I've only ever done one library previously and, uh, and this is one of the oldest libraries in England. Um, it has got documented paranormal activity uh, and eyewitness accounts of an encounter with the, the ghost that haunts this place. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we get tonight. Now there is a specific report I'm looking forward to investigating which is the shadow figure that the staff have reported. Now I want to find out, is this shadow figure connected to the activity that's happening here with the books? Are the staff seeing the same thing or is this something else that's come into this place? Maybe it's come through a portal, maybe it's multiple spirits haunting this um, library. But you know what? That's what Ghost Dimensions and Flying Solo is all about. We will find it. Whatever you see tonight, whatever you hear, guarantee one thing, it's going to be real. The library opened on the 4th of July 1808, so with a building this old, it's no surprise that it has its very own ghost. Staff have reported books falling from the shelves and furniture being moved on its own and a mysterious gong-like sound reverberating around the building. But in 1844, one staff member came face to face with the ghost. James McAllister, the head librarian at the time, was working late when he saw the ghost who was later identified as Vincent Sternberg, the former head librarian at Leeds Library. McAllister described the phantom shade as of a pallid face with sunken eyes and walked with a shuffling gait. Charles Hargrove, a local priest, explained to McAllister that Sternberg had been injured in a gunpowder blast which matched the description that McAllister had given of the ghost. Anna, welcome to Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. You work here at Leeds Library. How long have you worked here for? I've worked here for 15 years. 15 years. And during your time that you've worked here, this is supposed to be the oldest library in the UK. It's the oldest surviving subscription library in, in the, the UK. UK. Yep. And so you must have seen lots of people coming and going during the time that you've worked here. I have, yes, yes I have. You've seen loads. And have you seen any, or have you felt or had any paranormal experiences working here? I have, a few of us have. Um, I've had what felt like a finger touch the back of my elbow down in the basement. Um, we've had books off the shelves and we tested. It's never happened before, it's never happened since. But a whole shelf of books landed on the floor. So on the floor downstairs in the basement? Not in the basement, I was up here actually. It's up here? Up here, yeah. Um, always when nobody's in the building, things like that happen. Um, so it's, it's, it's hard to say. But yeah, we, we tend to test things. We like to test things to make sure it's not something... That something we, that, that you yeah, can explain. Yeah, and it would have actually taken quite a bit of force to tip that shelf. So, Over? Yeah. And so the, the, you can only put this down to paranormal activity? That's what we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, would you, I mean, stuff moving and being like, put on the floor is a bit poltergeist, or it takes a lot of energy for that to happen. Um, have you felt any energy of anybody here? There's often, certainly down in the basement, there's often a sensation that you watched, and it's always from either the opposite end of where you are, and you do get that sense that something's 
watching or following you or, you know, it's always out of the corner of your eye. Right, okay. So, and that's downstairs in the basement? That's downstairs in the basement, yeah. Okay. So there's also believed to be a guy here called Sternberg. Yes. Um, have you ever felt his presence? Or has anybody works here seen him or seen a face? No, we, unfortunately we haven't. We would like to, but no, we, we haven't seen Sternberg, not since that first appearance, his famous appearance back the Famous appearance. Yes. Yeah, so. Well, maybe if we call out and we ask for him to interact, maybe yeah. he will come through to the investigation with us, or potentially, maybe, another spirit, maybe, that used to come here and be a, a patron of the library. Yeah. Maybe they're coming back to take a book, return it. Yeah. And they don't hear just energy that's replaying and replaying. Maybe they'll come and join our investigation tonight. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's join tonight's psychic medium Lee to find out what he feels could be haunting Leeds Library. Lee, this is Leeds Library. It's massive. It's really old and it's haunted by multiple different spirits, one in particular. Are you um, sensing anything as you've come into this building? Are you feeling anything? Anybody saying, Liam here, Liam here? What, what's your first impressions? Uh, well, where do I start with this building? Um, as soon as I came in, I was made aware of at least five. Five? Five different things that are going on here. When you say five different things, five different spirits? Yep, definitely. Tell, tell us about it. Um, there's one in particular, a uh, female, that uh, likes to show herself. She goes up to the bookshelves yep. and she pushes the books back in. It's like like she's a former librarian. Right, okay. So she kind of tidies the books. Yep. Um, she's just constantly checking to see if the books are in order. She's very meticulous. Um, I would say late 50s. She's given me no name as yet. Yep. But um, the year with her associated, I would say, is it's around 1926, this one. Okay, 1926. Um, yeah. Wow. And what else are you sensing? What other spirits have you got? Um, there's also a male. Uh, this male's really prominent in this area. He stands just to my left he, uh, in the top corner. Up there? Yeah, he stands there quite a lot. I noticed him earlier on was uh, doing some pre-filming bits. Okay. What? He was actually stood up there just sort of looking down and what sussing us out. What, what, who is he? Does he tell you who he is? Um, he's not giving me a name or anything. He's quite standoffish at the minute, but he's very, very curious of what we're doing. Okay. Um, he, I would describe him as, I would say, late 50s. Yep. Um, he's got a suit, he's got a handlebar moustache uh, and like a bowler hat. Yep. Um, there's no name with him yet, but I am working on that. Maybe he'll come out with him. Um, so yeah, hopefully he'll And is make anybody else known. particularly standing out to you? There is another one on the lower level. Well, another two, actually. Downstairs? Downstairs, yeah. Right. And who are they? Uh, there is a male that likes to follow people around down there. Um, he's quite mischievous. He'll throw things around, you know, move things around. Yeah. There's a female that feels more like she wants to talk, but she hasn't got the ability to talk to us. Right. Okay. You know, she's kind of now that people are starting to talk to her, she's, she's she's now coming out of a shell a little bit, and you may get a reaction for her, but she's not aware that she can actually communicate with us as yet. Oh, wow. So she's more residual. Are any of these energies, anybody, or these spirits, should I say, any of these spirits, the people that have been knocking the books off? The Definitely, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. There's one in particular. So he's knocking them off, and then we've got this You've got lady one that's knocking them off, being mischievous, and then you've got the other one who's putting them back so meticulously and following people around. Up. She likes to follow the staff around as well. She follows the staff? Yeah, she does. Okay. Well, that's, that's interesting to me. Now, tonight, I believe we've got some items um, off did you hear that? That was from the corner there, yeah. Yeah, it was like a bang, tappy bang in the yeah. corner. Um, we've got some items from um, that belong to a former uh, head librarian here. Excellent. Another one? Yeah. I don't know where that was, I think it was at the back. So as we're talking, and they're Things like are starting to happen and already. Getting, getting yeah. interested in what we're talking about. So we've got some items tonight that we'll use that belong to this librarian, one of the spirits. Um, this spirit may not be here, but these items are owned by this person. Maybe he'll come back. Do you think he'll come back if we have these Definitely, items? Definitely, yeah. I yeah. think um, you could use those as a trigger object. Trigger and, object. Yeah, you may get something from that. Excellent. Are you drawn anywhere, Lee, that you would like to Two say? places. Yeah. Um, one is the corner that I described where the male is, and the lower level. Do you, Definitely do you want the to go there level. now? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's go. Lee, you were drawn to this corner. 
What is it you're feeling here? What, what's drawing you here? Uh, this is where the male actually stands and he likes to look down on people. Yeah. Uh, keep an eye on what's going so on. So he stands here and looks over yeah. and watches everybody. He also walks along the, the upper floor as well, along the corridors. So uh, along these actual... Yep. Yeah, he walks along here. Oh, and, and he could he be the person that's um, knocking the books off? Possibly, yeah. Um, there is the female, like I said, that's sort of correcting Sorry. the books. Yep. So it's hard to distinguish between who's doing the, the throwing of the books and who's actually putting them back. What the image I was given with the woman was that she was actually tidying the books up. So yeah, it's, right. it's a possibility that the male is the mischievous one who's putting the books on the floor and she's having to Tidy put them back. Them up. Yeah. Are you getting any more information from him now we're here? He is aware that we're here. He's yeah. kind of stood back at the minute. As I came into his space, he stood so back. where's he gone? Is he gone? He's now, I believe, he's gone downstairs. He's downstairs? Yeah. So he, he's like, we've moved as, into his area. As we came up the stairs, he, uh, his energy sort of faded. Yeah. And I got the impression of going below. Right. So he's now sort of headed off down there, but he's... He's very intelligent. He'll, um, he'll use the upper levels, you know, he'll, he'll go wherever, go wherever he, likes. he likes. Yeah. And you said you were also drawn downstairs. Definitely. Well, should we go down? Let's do it. Let's do it. Lee, we have come into the bowels of Leeds Library, to the basement of this building. You were drawn here. What is it you, you're drawn to? Uh, the mail. Um, he's definitely down here. As soon as we came down here, I could feel his presence. He's uh, sort of ducked away from us again. Has he? So he's moving around. He's moving around. Down here. Yeah. As Why? we're coming to him, he's he's sort of taking Scarfing. a back seat and working us out. Why is he doing that? Why is he going away? I don't think he kind of trusts us in a way. Shall we to trust him? Yeah, I think we should be okay. Yeah. Um, he's very inquisitive. Um, I wouldn't say he's negative in any way. He's just sort of st very standoffish. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's had the chance to, like I said before, you know, sort of communicate, so... Could he be the person that was making the noises upstairs? Yes, yes, it definitely, yeah. Is there any more spirits down here that you're sensing? There is another one, there is a female on this level as well. Uh, as we first walked into the left, she's more prominent there. Um, she is one of the ex-librarians. So the ex-librarians, yeah. and she comes back, why is she back here? I think she just loves the place. She likes the place? Yes. Is she tidying up or is she doing anything? Is she just watching? She's just sort of going about her daily business, um, not only looking at the books and things, but wandering around on this level. But she's not aware of the male. Yeah. It's like completely different time periods. So it's Completely different. The male, um, I was given a date with him, and that was 1889. 1889. So this is, yes, this is going way back, and the female was more than 1920s. So. All right, okay. So interesting. We've got the dates, we've got the different spirits. Yep. Will you, what do you think we'll get tonight, activity-wise? I think you will get whistles, knocks, bangs. You may even get little tugs on, back on the back clothes. of your shirt, stuff like that, yeah. Well, I can't wait to get started. Sounds Should like it's going to be a fantastic investigation. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Why is that? Like it's coming from upstairs. Yeah. What the hell was that? That was the light, wasn't it? Yeah. Just point your camera up there or just show the light. Me and Paul are about to film a piece to camera and the light's tapped. We would have got that on the audio. Yeah. yeah we've got it. Do you hear it? Yeah. Yeah, the light tapped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Paul, this is going to be a fantastic investigation. But the stories that Anna was saying before, I can feel it in my bones that there's people and spirits haunting this building, especially with the history going back years and years and years and years. Yeah. What are your thoughts? <clears throat> I, I think it's great. I mean, this place is just oozes history, not just from the books, but from the, the fabric of the building being as old as it is. Yeah. There's no way, with the amount of time this place has been in existence, it's not going to have something, even if it's just residual. It's got to have something. But with all the reports that we've been told about as well, yeah. then there's something intelligent here as well. And Lee sensed as well the same feelings of the reports. So if 
And Lee also believes that we're going to get whistles, taps and bangs, and guess what? We've had the taps already. Yeah, not even started, have we? So not even I think started. they're just as keen to get to uh, talk to us as we are to them. Well, I, I think we should start our solar investigations and see if we can either connect with some of the spirits that are said to be haunting here, or maybe we can find out if there's new spirits that are haunting here. Maybe the customers have come back and the people are dropping books back off in, spirit, in the spirit world. Um, but I think we should find something. Now, one thing that just um, concerned me, if the book's falling off the shelves, could be Poltergeistle. It, it could be, it could well, be. It could be but just it just being a menace. Want, wants to get your attention, perhaps, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, from what we've been told, we seem to have an OCD librarian. Pushing the books back Exactly, in. wants everything nice and prim and proper. And if there's another uh, spirit here that's aware of her, yep. might be playing a game. Really I'm going to pull a book out, so you've got to go and push it back, it back in. Up. Yeah. Well, it, uh, maybe we can find out tonight. I hope we can. Hopefully. Well, shall we go and start our investigation? I think we should. Come on, Paul. Let's, Let's do go. It. Okay, so I'm starting my lone vigil in the uh, reception library, as I'm going to call it. I've got with me a REM pod, which I'll just set off. Now, the REM, if anything goes near that, um, that will go off. And I've also got the trusty K2 meter. I'll just show you around this building to show you what I've got. It's still a bit light in here, which is fab. Oh, and the K2 meter's going off. You can see that on there, look. I'm just trying to, it's red. Maybe this is the tills here. I don't know, actually. Let's see if it goes off all the way here. Maybe it's something to do with one of those devices, but it's, it's going off constantly. Now, I don't know if that's a spirit or if that's actually caused by some interference in here. So I'm just gonna go back to, yeah, that's definitely interference from these machines. So I'll, I'll turn that off for now, and hopefully something can interact with um, the REM pod I've got down there, which isn't going off at the minute, which means that nothing's here. Um, in this library, it's supposed to be haunted by many figures and the mediums have sensed um, sorry, in this library it's supposed to be haunted by many figures and the mediums have sensed uh, figures that are here watching us. So hopefully these figures will come out. I've got a bell, I'm going to tap it. I am at Leeds Library and in the bowels of the library are more books and all of these. I'm not sure what they're... Uh, the kept here for maybe it's overspill and um, we've got a long corridor down there looks like another one there I'm gonna have a walk around all of it and see what's what I've set up a couple of REMs there's one there I've also put a shadow detector down at the bottom because there are reports of a shadow having been seen so I'm hoping maybe that will go off and also soon I'm gonna do an EVP session so we're just going to see if, uh, <coughs> if anything happens. That didn't do anything. It's not as dark as I'd like, but um, that's because of emergency lighting. But a lot of the reports happen during daylight hours. Uh, happen during daylight hours anyway. One place is a lit up. I'm not sure what that noise is upstairs. There have been reports of the sounds of furniture moving about, being dragged. So it could be something. Just gonna stand down here, get the full effect of the night vision. Okay, if anybody's here. Can you come forward, speak to me, or give me an indication, tap that bell, that you're here. Give me a whistle or a bang. I want to know and I want to be able to communicate with you tonight. My name's Sean, I'm a paranormal investigator for Ghost Dimension Flying Solo, and I am only here to communicate with anybody that wants to communicate with me. I'm not here to harm anybody, I'm not here to be 
negative, I just want to communicate with you. Now I've got a little tap then, but it came from over in this corner. Right. That was down here. I heard a book or something down here. Let me just have a look. Listen, there was, a, there was a noise and I couldn't find it. And then there was the sound of like a ting. Now we heard this ting before when we was filming with Paul. Is that you? Can you make that noise again? Are you able to communicate with me? So, can you whistle? Can you use your voice? I heard you knock something before. Did you pull a book out? Throw a book at me. Now there's a book on the floor. I just spotted a book on the floor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now I didn't capture that on camera. So I don't know if that came out before or if that came out when I was calling out. Maybe that was the noise, I don't know. I didn't see it happen. Maybe it was already there. I hope to God it was. Let's see if we can do it again, eh? It was one of these, wasn't it? Okay, if you're here, I wanna be able to see you push one of these books off. Throw it at me. If it was you that did that and put it on the floor, then throw one of these books at me and use your voice and tell me why you did it. This is a really, really big place. There are a lot of places to hide. All of these um, bookshelves down here on rollers so they can move. That would be good if one of those moved. Is there anybody here? See, there's even more here. Oh, look at these old books. Wow. Look at those. What the hell is that? Jesus Christ. Sean's up there. Sean's up there on his own. Bloody hell, I hope he's catching something because that was very loud. We've got a, another rem just here. There's Vincent here. Vincent Sternberg. still going on, I can still hear that noise. And that's one of the reports of uh, the sounds of furniture being dragged. So I don't know, uh, I mean above here is the main library. And now everybody should have gone, there's only myself and Sean here in the building. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be Sean shifting stuff. It's stopped now I think. Still some bumps. <coughs> Pretty sure that's not Sean moving about. There's no reason for him to be moving anything. I'm gonna get the K2 meter out and see if I can sense anything here and see if I can pick up any activity. Now it's not going off into the different colours. Now it'd be great if it did. Oh, as I'm saying that it's changing. Can you make this meter flash if that was you that set, um, sorry, if that was you that knocked a book on the floor or if it wasn't, 
Can you do it for me? Can you copy this noise if I tap on this table? No way, no way, no way. That's upstairs, that was upstairs. I don't know if we caught that or not, but that was definitely upstairs. It's like a bug rattling. Let's go up. There's loads of books here, and I'll show you them, look. If you're here, knock one of these books off the shelves. Come forward. See, there's supposed to be a man here. That it's knocking the books off the shelves and then somebody's tidying the books up. But I can't seem to see if that's happening or not. That's what the people are believing to, to happen here. But there's a book on the floor. Maybe it's tidied up now. I can see the whole library from here, so I'll just show you now the whole library. Can you make a noise if you're there? <laughs> if there's anybody here, can you please make a noise? Can you throw a book? Not at me. Just throw a book off a shelf. I won't fancy having an encyclopedia thrown at me, that'd be quite heavy. If you can you should be able to hear that I think. Still going on. That's a lot of noise. I don't know how frequently the reports of furniture being dragged or you know how, how sort of I don't want to say ferocious, it's not the word I'm looking for, but uh, I mean, there's, that's a lot of movement, that's, that's a lot of furniture being moved. Let's take a walk down this aisle here. A set of step ladders. Is there anybody here at all that would like to talk to me? Anybody at all? I don't mean you any harm. There are some devices on the floor. If you can go towards them, if you can see the metal stick that's protruding, that's sticking out from them, if you can touch that, it would make a noise and light up. It won't harm you, it will just let me know that you're here. Could you do that for me? Hello? Is anybody here? Now this is weird because it's like a build up to something happening. You can feel the energy of it. It's building and building. Let's see if I am we can get anything to happen. I'm gonna tap this bell again. Can you um, copy it? Make the noise back. I rang the bell for attention. Can you ring it back for me? Has that got your attention? That got your attention, didn't it? I heard that.
again now, it's upstairs. Look. But there's nobody there upstairs. I'm just gonna have a look to see if the book is on the floor still. Yeah, the book's still there. What book is it? The Help. Now that's weird. Is that because it's saying it needs help? Is it random? Or did was that book there before? It'd be interesting to see if it was. Is anybody here? Can you tap on this bookshelf with me? Tap back. I heard a voice then, like a lady's voice. Is somebody here with me? It's like a labyrinth of books. You just don't know from one turn to the next what you're gonna hear, what you're gonna feel. I see. At this moment, I'm just checking to see if anybody's in here with me. That was me. Jesus. Doing a spot of kickboxing there. Not bloody frightened me to death, that. Anybody here? That's the shadow detector there on the floor with the receiver. So I'm just going to cross and go down this corridor here, this aisle. I'm just going to walk in front so you're going to hear a beep, but it's me that's setting it off. Not with me. So we're in a, another part. More books. Oh. That's a card or something on the floor there. I'm not sure what, uh, what's happened there. If there's anybody here, can you make a noise? Can you make something fall off a table or a, a shelf for me, please? I've just got the voice recorder out. I thought we'd uh, do a little bit of an EVP session. Let's see if there's anybody down here who wants to talk to us. I'll record him. Paul in the basement of Leeds Library. Is there anybody here with me now? Please tell me your name. This is a crazy investigation so far, and I've got high expectations for the rest of the night. Is anybody in here with me? <clears throat> Can you whistle for me? Hello? Okay, there's another room at the back of here. And I'm gonna go into this room and see if I can maybe get a response from there. Do you know when you feel like you're being followed? Let's find out. Okay, let me get my meter out. Again, I've got a K2 in here. 
Now there should be no electrical interference in this room. And uh, let's see, let's see what we can do. I'm going to climb this ladder over here. I'm going to get up this ladder, which is a first for me on an investigation, a book ladder. Let me get on this book ladder and call out. Okay. Now, my name's Sean, I'm in here. Is anybody in here with me? Can you uh, let me know, come forward? If you can see, this is an empty room. Earlier on, you tapped one of these lights in here. Are you able to tap one of them again? Can we hear you? Touch one of them, make them move. There's just so much to do here. There's, there's so many places. Still noises going on upstairs. Has to be somebody. That cannot be consistently a ghost or a spirit moving about. That's just not going to happen. I don't think. I suppose you can't rule it out. Depends uh, if it's a conscientious librarian that's got a lot of back, back cataloguing of titles to do. Or a lot of people we're late bringing them back and they've got fines to sort out. So anybody here at all, can you just make a noise, just let me know. You come towards this device on the floor. I wish I had a piece of kit which could document when the atmosphere changes because right now it's changed. I get this very odd feeling I'm being watched. It just feels different down here now. Something feels weird. I'm just gonna go a little bit further, try and not kick that box in like I did before. Can you make a noise? Make one of the lights move. Come on. I'm just losing my balance on this step. Okay. Make one of these lights move and communicate with me so I know you're here. That wasn't the lights. Is that you tapping on one of the bookshelves? Hello? I heard that. Can you do that again for me? Move one of these chairs. Move one of them. Where's that coming from? I heard that. I heard a move then. I heard some tap. That must have been in here. Let me have a look. All you can hear is clocks. Tap one of these lights in here, please. Come on. If I pull one of these books out, can you push it back? Just pull that out there. So I'm going to move away from that now. See if uh, 
I'll come back in a second see if it's been pushed in. Go down this one. Been very warm all day, but it feels colder down here now. Feels a lot colder. Just gonna walk up here a little bit. What was me setting the rim off? Yeah, it does feel cold down here now. Is there anybody here at all? If you don't want me here, just let me know. If you can do something, make a noise, throw something, set one of the uh, pieces of equipment off. If you do that, as if you do that, I'll get the. Uh, if you do that, I'll understand that you want me to leave. If you can set that one off there, or the one that's a little bit further down there. Well, there's another device. If you just walk up this corridor, you may be able to set it off. Any of those, at all. I'll understand that you want me to, to leave. Let's go and see if that book's been moved at all. Would be nice, but you don't hold your breath with this sort of thing. Still sticking out. What was that? What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That came from the other room. That came from the other room. It was some, something, I don't know what it was. It came from the other room. Hello? Are you in here? from down the back. Hello? I'm gonna whistle one more time. Can you whistle back? No, thank you. Did you know I was gonna ask that? Where are you? Tell me where you are. If you can whistle, use your voice. That was amazing. I can't believe this. Footsteps. Where are they coming from? That's pretty cool. That's really good. I'm gonna go and investigate even more because I'm feeling drawn to different areas of this building. I really want to go and investigate the big library and downstairs as well. So I'm gonna go and do that now. This was amazing. <laughs> 